Good morning, and welcome back to the Showcase Home for the Greater Orlando Builders Association Parade of Homes event. As a reminder, believe it or not, we will be all done starting May 2nd. The Parade of Homes is May 2nd through May 10th, so make sure you plan your calendars now to come visit us and tour this home when it's complete. So this morning what I wanted to showcase was the beautiful roof that is going on. This is a clay tile roof product. It is hand selected from a local boneyard. So our homeowner went over to a boneyard which keeps collections of these tiles, picked out all these colors himself, and they designed the layout for him. So it's a simple clay tile roof. It's individually installed. It's secured, as you can see on the roof. And the next step they have to complete this small area here, then they'll do the ridges, and it'll be 100% done. So I wanted to show you that today, just to give you an idea of the progress. But more importantly, we have great things going on inside the home. We have a home automation system that's just gonna blow you away. So come on in, let's meet the team that's putting it together. You see we've made progress on the stucco, we're all complete except this one area. We're holding off on this area because we have a custom door that's being prepared right now that'll be installed in a few weeks. Our next visit, you'll see the brand new door. So today, we're gonna talk about home automation. And with me is Avery Rogers from OptiCode Systems. Avery's team is designing and putting together this automation system that seriously is gonna very much impress you. So Avery, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Thank you for the introduction, John. My name is Avery with OptiCode Systems. We'll be installing a Control 4 automated system for the Reyes home. So it's a beautiful home already, but imagine when it comes to life. So with home automation, you have access to the ability to control lights, locks, uh, cameras, all of your audio and video systems. And so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start off with some of the light, smart light control systems. So as you come into the house, most homes have their regular bank of switches here. But with Control 4, we'll be turning this into a smart automated system. So these controls will be installed in the place of the regular light switches and it makes them controllable via a phone app or you can automate them any way you want. So as you come into the house. So let me interrupt you here, Avery. As we walk into the house, you might remember the last time we filmed here, we had framing done on this groin ceiling area. And a groin ceiling is a custom vaulted ceiling design. You can see the drywall is in place. The next step now is that they are going to apply the drywall mud to seal all the seams, sand it completely smooth. We have a level five finish in this home, so it's completely smooth. This will be a gorgeous entry to showcase your first lighting system inside the home. Absolutely, so when you come in, you'll say, Alexa, turn on home, and this light can turn to whatever preset level you'd like it to. Now, as you come into the great room, dining room slash, we're gonna double this as a dance hall, so you can imagine how important it is to have excellent audio throughout the house. So for the Reyes home, they have a total of 12 zones of audio. Uh, this will be considered uh, four speakers of audio here. If you notice, it's still in the pre-construction part of it, so you can see the, the, the speaker brackets that are going to be there. And another nice feature in this room are the shades. These are all pre-wired for automated shades, so it's not just your regular use a string and pull your, your curtains open. This is actually full, fully automated. You can tell Alexa, open shades or you can just simply use your tablet and it will do the preset levels for those. So let's take a look at the media set. We'll take a look at some of the audio video. So if you follow Avery into the media room, my friend's name is Avery Rogers. So I'm doing my best to channel my own Mr. Rogers look for, the, uh, for our home. So next time you see us, I'll welcome you in as a neighbor. Remember Mr. Rogers' neighbor? <laughs> All right, take it away, Avery. Excellent. So my cousin, Mr. Rogers, we're, uh, we're doing a nice audio system here for his uh, media center. So he'll have whatever he chooses. I don't know if he's going with a 70 inch screen TV, but we've got our surround sound set up here. We've got our rear speakers. And then we designed it so that he has the maximum effect with his, uh, his audio in the room. We'll have a, a sound bar just below the television, so it will blend. So our TV is gonna go in this area, correct? That's right. right here. Okay. And for this room, he's gonna have a touch screen. This right here is just a little tabletop 
uh, control for it. It's, it's part of the ecosystem, so it's, it's really a glorified tablet, but it works a lot faster in the control for environment. So let's take a look at some of the hardware that's actually going to go into the house. Before we leave here, Sunshine, I'm going to show something that Avery, this is going to enhance Avery's automation system. So typical homes use a half inch uh, thick sheet of drywall. Provides very nice acoustics for your home. This is not a typical home. So what we're doing here is we're putting what's called quiet rock. And it's two sheets of drywall with a filament on the inside between the sheets that sandwiches sound literally out. So this, this, this room, this sound that Avery's going to create with the movies and the TV they're watching here is going to stay in this room and not leak into the other rooms. Excellent. OK, so being that we can't show you the hardware just yet, we have uh, some examples here of some of the system equipment that's going to go into the home. So what we have here, we have the touch screens. These will be mounted on the wall. This is a seven inch touch screen. They'll be going into the bedrooms. The nice thing about these is they display all of these various services throughout the house. So Reyes, in the Reyes home, he's getting uh, cameras throughout uh, the perimeter of the home. And so you'll be able to control those cameras from the touchscreen. The security system will also be automated into the control for environment. So it'll be one icon that will press, arm, disarm the security system. Uh, the door locks, the lighting control. This is the intercom anywhere feature that you'll see on the actual touchscreen. This allows them to speak with the in-laws or the kids and tell them it's time for dinner or bedtime. They can communicate right through these and talk room to room to each other through the control for touchscreens. Climate control is very important. You can even set schedules. You can do one touch and control whatever room there's a control in for the actual AC. Shading. We talked a little bit about that earlier, but I think we're going to have anywhere from 30 to 40 shades uh, in this house. So one touch, he'll be able to have them at preset levels, all from one touch screen. And then music which brings the house to life. With those 12 zones of audio, he can select uh, the pool, kitchen, dining room, kids room, and play up to three streams of audio of any type of music that you want throughout the house. So that's uh, the, the nice feature about the touch screen. This is a typical remote that controls the television. And all of that, believe it or not, is being controlled through this simple processor. And so that's the beauty of home automation. So a lot of people say they have a smart home. Smart homes are excellent, but what takes it to the next level is automation because now you can take all of those smart home devices and merge them into one beautiful app instead of going to multiple apps to control various services. So that's the benefit of Control 4. And then finally, who wants to press a button when you can just talk to it? So Google Home or Alexa is gonna give you full automated control of the house with voice commands. Avery, can you show us where some of these touch pads or keypads are located? And I know we're in a rough state right now, but where, where do you envision them and how are they going to look on the wall? Sure. So this is a 10 inch touch screen. It's actually going to be here in the kitchen. We thought about the best place for uh, placing these, uh, these touch screens throughout the house because you want to have access to them. So I want you to imagine uh, you're in the kitchen, you're cooking, and you just want to play a little music. So you just come on over, tap the music. What do you want to listen to? You want to listen to a little Latin, a little hard rock, merengue, whatever it is. You can just tap that and your services will immediately turn on. Now, if you're walking throughout the house, you can just simply change the menu and merge your dining room into the kitchen. You can take any one of those 12 zones of audio and merge them into that audio source. Perfect, so excellent. Uh, so this is our home automation for this home. Dwayne is doing the programming for Avery's company. This is the brains behind the issue. <laughs> Avery is doing the design, is doing a fantastic job uh, for this home. It's gonna be spectacular. Thank you very much for being with us today. You're welcome. Now, let me give you a little teaser what's gonna come up on the next time we see each other. Follow me over here. We have the tile selections picked out, and we're really excited about that. The colors are just going to be phenomenal in this home. So let me give you a sneak peek of what's going to be and hopefully what you're going to see the next time you visit us. Check out these colors. This is the floor tile. 
The colors are just popping off here. This is going to be spectacular. This entire area is going to be using this type of uh, tile and the color. This is a master bathroom tile. Again, the coloring is just fantastic. We have wall tile that coordinates with it. We have more bathroom tile. You can see the designer of this home has done a tremendous job and really blending a lot of vibrant and bright colors to really create that nice home feel. And this piece of wood right here, this is gonna be the hardwood flooring. This is a beautiful knotty pine, a light texture, light color. It's just gonna really, really look good. One other thing I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on. We're gonna follow me back over here. I'm gonna show you where the pool is gonna be. So this home has a custom designed pool from Dixie Pools. It is going to be something else. It is going to be a relaxing, uh, calming, uh, enjoyable pool area. It's gonna have a walkway feature. It's gonna have a water feature that's around it. But we're just gonna take a sneak peek. You can't see anything now, but if you follow me out over here, just keep this in mind from, the, from what you see it right now. Starting Monday, this will all be dug up and the pool will go in here. So hopefully, next time that we see you, in a couple weeks, we're gonna showcase the beautiful pool and the flooring, all leading up to, again, May 2nd through May 10th. It's the Parade of Homes for the Greater Orlando Builders Association. This is the showcase home. We want you to plan right now to see us and to see more than 100 other entries on the parade.